Car shop life. Here we are, freight. I don't know. Doesn't look very safe. Does that look safe? <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, you cut, cut these open. See if there's damage. So we were finally received all of our fixtures for the whole thing. Four pallets. That looks extremely dangerous. <laughs> I was like, isn't that gonna fall over? It just doesn't seem very safe. <laughs> uh, that box has a slight shipping damage. <laughs> is that is that is that look like it's supposed to look like that? Yeah. Uh, this is supposed to be the glass, right? Uh, near mint condition. I don't think there's any way that middle box is going to be okay. Does that look like it's going to be okay? I don't know. It looks a little dangerous to me. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, so we're back. I want to... So we got three pallets off. Old man helping. Anyway, so this is what happens when you try to get slat walls off a freight truck. You guys ready? It's hilarious. It's so impossibly difficult. Time to see your skill set. I might have to ask you to not record this. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we are not going to record because we're concerned. All right, so welcome back, everybody. A uh, lot of progress, a lot of things have happened. Wanted to give you guys an update. So obviously, as you can tell, we are starting to move all those pallets from outside to inside. It has been a shit ton of work. Holy smokes. It has been ridiculous. So we've been slowly undoing everything. Unpack. Of course, everything's flipping made in China, I swear. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if you can see that. Like, everything is made in China. It's like, really? It's like everything nowadays. I'm like, come on. So, mass amounts of the shelves. We got a little bit more expensive shelves. I wanted to get the really nice, it's kind of got a, what they call a bullnose edge on the shelves. So when you put them with the brackets and everything, it's actually gonna look pretty nice in the slat walls. So more sheets of glass and uh, we have not gotten everything done. We were starting to do that. You can see we're starting to pull the brackets and the different things together um, into the main area. Sorry guys, the lighting is crazy. So we've been starting to bring in a ton of stuff starting to move a lot of things um we've got oh my goodness there's so many things to show you guys in this video it's ridiculous all right uh more massive massive amounts of display cases we had some damage stuff come in starting to get some uh, the glass 70 inch jewelry whatever you want to call them display cases finally starting to put these things together oh my god they're just they're not super hard to do but i'm not gonna lie they're a pain in the ass to put together so we've got five of these big 70 inch ones and we got two of the smaller ones. Um, we got tons of the brackets and things. As you can see, these are all the um, kind of the angle ones. So they're, they're actually very, kind of shows you guys what they look like. So pretty cool stuff. There's tons and tons of them. You can see there's another ones. Then you've got these single, what they call the peg ones. Pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. These kind of these peg brackets. You kind of, for example, you know, these kind of things. Those kind of peg brackets kind of attached to the slat walls. So we got these really cool kind of free floating middle. You can move them. 
So we've just been shoving a bunch of Pokemon stuff on them for right now just to kind of uh, use as a place to store things. So I think my favorite part about these is, number one, I didn't expect them to be this big. I seriously thought they were going to be like half the size. So that was an eye-opener. Two, I just like the fact that they can be moved. They're heavy as hell, but they're just super cool. They're really, really nice. Just want to show you guys what those things look like. The quality is just fantastic. Like the actual, the details and how they do them, it's just, it's a really nice quality. And then, this is what happens when you have freight shipping gone wrong. And of course, everybody tries to blame it on the shipping company, which they didn't do anything wrong. The company I bought from was shady and hid this on the inside. There was no damage to the pallets or anything. So this is a, I think like $250 this box setup is another one of these entire setups, these type of bases, and it's just completely wrecked. Like you can see like the outline to the trim. See the outline to the trim here, the whole corner, completely shattered into pieces. So that's cool. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So they sent replacements and they freight shipped them out for free. That's a waste of money, right? So slat walls, finally got the slat walls in. Can't really, can you guys make out the size of these things? So the slot walls are pretty sweet. They are massive, and I got the more expensive, what they call anchor slot walls, which are thicker and heavier. And oh my god, these things are a beast. They're so heavy. So same thing as before. Um, they actually shorted me one panel, so they had to send me another one. On top of that, they busted them up. They didn't care. And they again, they tried to blame it on the freight company, which... You know, they use FedEx Freight, and they did nothing wrong. They took the damaged one and actually put it in the middle of the stack to try to hide it until after you sign for it and get it. Good news is they were really nice about it. They did not give me a hard time. So we ended up getting that one, and then I thought they were going to pick up the damaged ones, but they actually didn't. So now we have even more extras. So that turned out to be pretty cool. So we got a ton of these things, and God... They're almost 100 pounds a piece. And again, and people are going to say, well, Rudy, how the hell do you hang that? Best way to do it, um, specifically because these are metal framed walls. These are all metal framing behind this with drywall, so there's no actual wood studs or wood beams that go up and down. So you're going to have to use drywall anchors. Um, what you do is you actually drill in between these things. I would say probably one, two, three. I would say probably four, and then four, and then four. So what I'm going to do is probably use 12 drywall anchors with like little white fat screw things. You put it in the wall. They're like really big. I wish I had one with me. I, I don't think I actually have one. Point is, four, four, and four. So you get 12 anchors to the wall. It's a 100-pound shelf. So it only puts like about 10 pounds on each anchor. And even if you put 100 pounds of product on it, you're looking at a 200 pounds attached to the actual wall. 200 pounds on a wall divided by 12 support things. I mean, you're looking at like 20 pounds per little support anchor. That's nothing. The anchors are rated at like 100 pounds a piece. And I know people like, Rudy, you, you really don't need to do that much. I like to over-cautious. I like to really, really be over, you know, worst case scenario is you come in the next day and the whole panel's on the floor and you got shit messed up. That's a bad day. We don't want that. All right, so start moving some more products. It's just starting to move things in here. Pretty sweet. People are like, Rudy, why aren't you doing Pokemon videos? Dude, I just haven't gotten to it, man. I have not had time to it. By the way, Latios boxes, dude, dude, dude darts. Seriously, Primal Clash, Phantom, Double Roaring, an amazing statue, and a promo card. That's where it's at. So anyways, wanted to share that. That was what's going on. Um, we also have some other things being put together, kind of what we call in between. They kind of, you have like a glass display case on each side, obviously not against the wall. And then you can kind of have these in between. They're kind of called display stands or register display stands. Because some people, you can kind of you can kind of use them for stuff like this. Where you can actually get some El Cheapo register. Dude, let's rob this place. Can we get, how much is in here? Come on. God, he's a crap. Come on, I know that, don't these come with money from the box? Like when you open the box, don't they give you free money? Well, clearly I've never even opened it, so I hope the company gave me free money. I want free money. So, yeah, I want to share that. And obviously when you do this kind of crap, oh my god, the amount of garbage and stuff that you end up getting is ridiculous.
ridiculous. You guys have to see this. You have to look at this. Holy crap. This is our. <laughs> so this is so far. Just from this, can you guys see? Just from doing these unpacking, there's just a little bit over here. Not even in the rest of it. And look at this. Look at this. We've already emptied the entire room once. And we've already got an entire second room full. The dumpster from the shopping center can only hold so much. So I literally have to like throttle it out and ration it. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even put all the garbage away at once. There's just so much of it. So yeah, I think it's a pretty massive update compared to what she... What do you guys think? Come on, you guys want $3 cons binders? I think it'd be awesome. Like a grand opening thing maybe? Like on a... Like a Friday night. Anyone shows up, it's like a $3 cons binder. That'd be sweet. So, still going to probably tint the windows. Um, still doing the Alpha Investment logo. And that's really all I have to show you guys. That's kind of the update. That's where we stand. Um, I think I showed that already. Uh, I didn't show you what's in these boxes. Like shit we got in. I don't think I've showed you guys. I showed you guys all the different brackets and things that came in. Uh, I showed you a little bit of the intro. Um, so we got a bunch of cool, if anyone's curious, that's how these Pokemon things come. Is there a sticker on the side of the box? I don't think they, do they tell you? I don't know if they show you like what's involved with these things. Can you guys see how these things are shipped? So this is kind of how Pokemon products are shipped. You get 12 per case. And some of these Pokemon products, the only problem is when they ship them like this, when they do the two variant cases, some people, some stores love them. I personally don't like them because I always feel like one of these two variants ends up selling and doing a lot better than the other one. And then what happens is you're stuck with like half of a case that nobody wants as much. And if you want to restock on one of two, you can't do it that way. You have to order them both. So that's kind of my gripe about these variant Pokemon cases. I really wish they would just do like, you can get a case of this and a case of that. I don't really like the half and half. I understand the packs are the same, but the fact that the promos are not the same that's the game changer, especially the main promo, which are usually full arts, right? Can you guys see that? Let me see if I get a focus for you guys. Yeah, usually so it's like usually the main promo in the middle is a full art promo. I want to see if you all can see that. I'm trying to make you guys dizzy now, huh? Yeah, so usually the main promo is the one that people either want really badly or really badly. The rest of them are fine, but the issue is, you know, everybody wants the full art fancy schmancy. So that's my kind of blah comment. Um, I have a ton of cases. Look how dust. Look at this. You guys see this? Dude, look at the dirt and dust on this. Look at, do you guys see that? Oh my, that's how long the distributor, I guess, had these in their warehouse or something. I don't know. Of course, these are a little bit older. These are Flygon boxes, by the way. And, I mean, there's cases. And again, dude, look at the, you guys ever looked at the Flygon boxes? I mean, hello, are you seeing it? What's that pack in the corner? Flippin' Furious Fist, Double Primal, and a Phantom. Promo, Jumbo Promo, and code in every box. That's pretty badass. Uh, wholesale, my cost is around 11 bucks, And I still, I'm really liking that whole idea I talked to you guys about. Maybe selling these for like, I don't know, like $12 or something. Maybe $12.99, not like $12.50 or something. Doing some crazy thing, you know. So, that's where it stands. Everybody is officially caught up. That's what it looks like. Yeah, we finally got one of these things built. Um, definitely a two-person job. Nothing. It's not complicated to build these fancy glass things. They're not expensive. This whole thing. Now, again, I got a preface this. Preface? Preface? These are $220 a piece I paid, plus shipping. Now, the fact I ordered a massive like $5,000 order, the shipping cost was very, very cheap. I paid like a couple hundred dollars shipping for everything. I'm talking the slat walls, the display cases, the mobile display cases. We're talking register stands over there. I mean, all the tons of shelving, all the tons of brackets back here. You know, we got a lot of it together, so I got a really good price. Remember, if you guys were like, oh, Rudy, I want to get one of these display cases. They're probably going to hit you for $220 and then probably like $200 in shipping if you just order one. So when you order it all at once, the shipping cost per unit drops like stupidly cheap. Like a display case like this, I think my shipping costs dropped to like 20 bucks. So, you again, you have to put it together. They come in these pain in the ass, China, you know, made in China, stupid, you know, until you do your first one, it's a nightmare. 
they even, I mean, the parts are in, there's the glass, there's the base, uh, there's the miscellaneous parts, there's the parts back. I mean, they don't, they don't make it easy at all. So if you order a lot at once, it's confusing as shit because they don't tell you what goes where. So I would like to definitely add that. So anybody who wants to open a card store or do anything, reason number 326, you must have the capital to do a lot of things at once because you save a shit ton of money. If I didn't have the available resources and I had to order one thing and then one slat wall and then when I had more money, I'll come back and get another slat wall or something. Dude, this shit, you would spend so much money. I mean, these slat walls came out to be like 50 bucks a piece and shipping was only like $10 a piece because I bought in bulk. That's super cheap. If you go online and order one slat wall for $50, $60, holy crap, that's heavy. If you order one slat wall for $50, $60, they will literally charge you $100 to ship one piece because it has to go on what they call an extended pallet. And then the extended pallet has to be placed on a regular pallet and they have to freight ship it. It's super... <coughs> yeah, I'm losing my breath. Dude, it's super expensive to do. I don't think I've showed... You guys are like, dude, it's creepy. I just want to show you guys. I don't think you've seen me all video. I wasn't sure if I even showed you guys what I looked like today. Look at that. Clean cut Rudy? No? I didn't make my hair all cheesy today, so sorry guys. So I at least wanted to tell you that that's the number one thing I want everyone to take away from this video. As far as the setup and everything goes, I'm having no problems. I haven't run into any issues. Actually, the day of uh, this filming, they, the sign company is actually installing the Alpha Investments on the outside of the building today. So I'm actually very excited about that. So that's the takeaway. Conclusion of this video, you guys saw the update. When you're buying these large retail type of display items, slat walls, miscellaneous stands, shelving, the big shelving. When you buy any of this stuff, the biggest thing I want you all to remember is you have to buy it all at once. Otherwise, you will spend, you will waste so much money. If you think you need two slat walls for your display store, buy four. If you think you need one display case, buy three. If you think you need four or five, I bought seven. Buy extra. I know it's stupid sounding, but seriously, they come compact. They're not, they don't take up a lot of room. You can easily save them. You can store them. It's so much of a better feeling because you know one day some idiot or some kid whose mom doesn't care is going to come in here and they're going to scratch or damage your glass or display case and you're going to need a replacement or something could break. Someone could walk in and slam something really heavy down and they could literally break the display case. It does happen. And because of that, you're going to be really pissed off if you have to order one case and then pay shipping for one item. So that's the, I mean, I can't emphasize that enough to you guys. My shipping cost was like $350 to ship everything. Where literally it costs $150 to ship each item separately. So if I shipped 20, 30 items separately, which is what I ordered, it would have literally cost me $3,000 in shipping costs. So I saved like $2,700. So... That is some anti-creepy shit. So Rudy with Alpha Investments. I really, really appreciate everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying the updates. Uh, as of right now, I hate to tell you guys, I'm still leaning towards only opening like one day a week or having limited hours because of the schedule. You guys have a great day. See you next time.